Banani advised especially young people to get rid of the tendency of not being willing to stand in queues and patiently wait to cast their vote. Because you are youthful, I want to warn you that you are the ones that always goes to the election. When you find the queues to be longer, then you go back and say, the queue is very long. To this election, we cannot afford to let the queues be long and go home. We must carry the day and carry the ballot. Owangwena, Oshikoto and other parts of the country have been plagued with persistent water shortages, which the PDM leader said he would change under his own administration. For many years, he said, local communities have grappled with low water pressure, while others have had to make do with water unfit for either human or animal consumption. Access to water is a basic human right, and PDM is committed to alleviate water shortages by constructing dams in all villages to increase water catchment capacity and water shortage for agriculture and domestic use. How long will Namibians will use donkeys as a means to get water? Under my administration, this promise I'm going to give you, our administration will deliver water pumps to every home state. Every house here in Omuthia has a water. If you are living in a rural area, you are not going to be allowed like a goat to go and look for water. The water pipe will come into your house. Water scarcity poses a considerable challenge to agricultural development in Namibia, and it is becoming increasingly limited due to unpredictable rainfall patterns. The PDM government will develop desalination plans. We are a country with a coastline of close to 1,800 kilometers from Cape Fria to Luderitz. Go to Egypt. Go to Israel today. Countries that are desert have become green because they are desalinating water. Take out the salt, pump the water to their communities and be able to create food security. I'm going to give you a job because I will invest, my government will invest 10% of our GDP on agriculture. The party further plans to focus on reducing food imports from neighboring countries to Namibia as it plans to empower farmers to improve food security in the country.